no microscope, no endoscope, no telescope can understand that. Only mindoscope can understand that. We don't have it. Things. Matter is energy. Energy is matter. You have some simple article he has written for you to read. Don't read all that physics. Write down. Matter is not made out of matter. Matter is not made out of matter. This is the Google. The, his name is Hans, H-A-N-S, Peter, P-E-T-R, Dior, D-U-R-R. And this article, he tells you that I am a child playing with you know, small things in the periphery, calling it A-Duality. The Indian sages called it as Advaita, Sat, Sat. And here is a German who doesn't even know English properly, quotes Sanskrit. You go to his laboratory, he has got all the scriptures, Indian scriptures there. And he quotes this, the Upanishads that said what energy and matter is. Bahir antas chabutanam. It is outside and inside of everything. Charam, it's moving. But acharam, you look solid. Nothing solid, you're moving. You're jumping leptocots bit. Charam acharamevate. Sukshmavate tavidneam. It is so subtle, no microscope, no endoscope, no telescope can understand that. Only mindoscope can understand that. We don't have it. And what does he say? Durastam. You don't know? You don't know. Cha, aniketa cha. When you know, it is very close. Tat, tat, sat. Matter and energy. Human body works as a whole. Please remember this one sentence. Mug it up. Remug it up. Human body works as a whole. Heart doesn't work in isolation. So heart failure is not a disease of cardiology. Heart disease is a physiology. Heart disease has got so many problems. So starting from the muscle, to the brain, to the heart, to the lungs, but the key is held in the muscle. Chronic heart failure, the key is held in the muscle. And it's the muscle that gives you what you want to do. Human body is but a bundle of energy. Human body is but a bundle of energy. Why human body? The whole universe is immaterial. Human body is a material. This fellow is a, he didn't get his Nobel Prize, but he's, he's tipped for that. Richard Con Henry is a professor of physics in Johns Hopkins. And he wrote this. The universe is immaterial, mental and spiritual, live and enjoy. I have slightly changed it. Human body is immaterial, mental and spiritual, live and enjoy. So, this human body is a wisdom, enormous wisdom. Many times we feel this patient should die, according to our textbook. But next day you see him, he is smiling in the ward, and third day is walking out. Many times these patients will probably outlive the doctor and go for their funeral lots. All this is possible because you can't predict the future, there's no future. Modern medical science has no place for keeping man either healthy or alive. Did you read that? Modern medicine has no place to either keep man healthy or alive. Need for a new science of man. But I'll give you one small example. Stem cell. I met somebody who said, I'm in genetics. Big genetics. What is this genetics? Genes have nothing. How many genes do you have in the chromosome? 23,000 to 25,000. But do you know how many germ genes you have? Two and a half trillion. In a meta genome, you have two and a half trillion genes. So you manipulate these 23,000 genes and then say, I'm producing a stem cell and give it inside, it will go to, some, to do something else. Because the, the genes don't have no power. Gene expression, the protein expression, which is called gene penetrance, depends on the environment. And what is the environment? Outside, it was in vitro, it was your environment. Laboratory, test tube, whatever. Inside, the environment is the mind, human mind. And there, it works in a different way altogether. But body produces stem cells. They're called endogenous stem cells. Oh, how body produces stem cells? You'll be shocked. 